What's up guys, welcome to Drink Up with Richie T. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Weller 12. Uh, it's awesome stuff, uh, I'm really into Wellers. Uh, it's one of the best bangs for your buck as well, like Eagle Rare or Blanton's, uh, which are in some of my other reviews if you go check them out. Uh, they're delicious. The original weeded bourbon, meaning wheat, barley, and corn, that's it. There is no rye in this, making it usually to some people's effect smoother. Uh, going into how to taste and how to check it out. Really beautiful, omni, browns and lights. Real easy legs, medium body, 2% milk. You know, if you're following some of my other things, I relate it to milk a lot. So smooth and creamy, easy to drink. A lot of corn, a lot of wheat you're gonna taste, making it softer, that wheat. Now this is something that a lot of people really look for. I mean, the Weller 12 is delicious. You actually mix this with Weller 107 Antique, which is hard to find. You make your poor man's pappy. Let it sit for about six months, and that's how it's going to be the closest to pappy you're going to get. So they say. Everyone's palate's different, though, so always remember that. Now, on my Instagram, if you follow Drink Up with Richie T on Instagram and Twitter, uh, we actually have, I have these two, and I want to know your opinion on what bottle you like more and what you like now. Um, I like the new bottle a little bit more. Um, they taste very different because they're different vintages, different styles. Remember we talked about that. Awesome. And some of the other ones, um, just really cool stuff. But make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're hitting us up. Make sure you're asking me questions so we can get it going. And uh, drink up a Richie T, guys. Till next time.